took a few days, but that is one more project down. So, this is my working Silverfish XP farm. As you can see, it's made out of polished deep slate as opposed to my normal cobblestone for, well, obvious reasons. I have two sets of timers here, one to control the cobble gen, which is right here, and one to control the silverfish gen, which is right here. The timers are adjustable. The cobble gen I currently have set to activate every two seconds, and the silverfish gen I have set to activate every six seconds. While both of these can be increased, I think it is plenty fine to leave them as they are. This design does borrow from a few other creators, and I will be linking their own videos in the comments, so please do not tell me that I stole this, I'm giving them credit. So, to give an overview of how this system works, is this sticky mechanical piston is glued to this entire bottom area here. It gets a pulse from the sequence gear shift every few seconds, which causes the bottom here to extend and retract. During that time, the pumps here pump out lava that is from this cauldron. It meets with the water, creating cobble. Cobble is then broken by the mechanic, moving a solid block into another block. Cobblestone then gets funneled into this spot right here. It is then smelted by two lava fans. That stone drops down a layer and then is haunted to turn into infested stone, which then drops into the item vault storage. And the item vault has a chute on every block of its bottom, which then feed into deployers. These deployers will place down their infested stone right here on this row. It is, as you see, glued. You will need to go ahead and glue the first set of the stone if you don't already have some infested stone for the schematic cannon. So just letting you know that now. And on the second redstone timer, you see this mechanical bearing rotating this glued section of stone 360 degrees which is just enough time for these deployers to go all the way down and place their infested stone, starting the next layer. When the stone is broken, the silverfish all drop down into this water pit. As you can see, these two blocks on the sides are stairs, so you will need to go ahead and place down water on both of these. Silverfish then get funneled into this little chute here, to be trapped between these six chests here, which gives you just enough space to reach them, but for them not to be able to get out. Finally, we have our controls. So our stone generator, flipping lever once, will turn the machine off. However, if you flip it twice, it will turn the machine on. As you can see, it is currently on. Flipping it once, will turn it off. Once you've confirmed it's off, then you can go ahead and switch this lever back to its off position. Same setup here on the right side. Silverfish spawner, flipping it twice, will turn it on. And this one takes just a bit longer, so the clue in here will be waiting to hear it. And once you want to turn it off, you just flip that lever, wait for those few seconds, and when you don't hear it making any more noise, you just flip it again, and you're good to go. So, as you saw while watching this, this spawner can easily get you over 30 levels in just a few minutes. So I consider it a pretty successful build. Few things to note for running this machine. Before flipping either of these levers, make sure both are in the off position. The frequencies can be whatever you want to set them as, I happen to be using cobble and infested stone. And on this one, I'm using only infested stone. For the receiving side of things, I'm using the opposite configuration. As you see, cobble, infested stone, infested stone, cobble. Right here, you can see I'm using infested stone on the bottom and infested stone on the top. That's for my receive and then my send. Here's the redstone link for the infested stone. And here's the redstone link for the cobble generation. You'll notice that sometimes these deployers do go a little wonky. As you see, they are trying to place blocks even though there are already blocks present. And sometimes these deployers can get out of sequence, so they aren't all placing at the same time. I included this button here and another button on the other side for that reason. What you can do is when it is out of sync, you can come up here and manually time it so that you can press the button and have it activate. And after a couple activations, they all should be placing around the same time again. As for the power supply, you have two options. You can feed a line of positive 1 into this vertical gearbox here, or you can feed a line of positive 32 to this encased chain drive right here. If you notice that you have water overflowing like so, it's probably because this cauldron right here is empty. So go ahead and place lava in it, and the problem should resolve itself shortly. Also, make sure all your mechanical pumps are facing upwards. You can change them with the wrench and a right click. 
If they aren't all facing upwards, you'll see this overflow like so. And if you do happen to get an overflow, make sure you place down your redstone again, as well as your pulse repeater. And that should be everything that you need to know. If I left anything out, or if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If this video helped you, I'd appreciate it if you left a like or subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any ideas for what you want me to see build next, leave those in the comments too. Thank you for watching.